Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Script Doll from Cap Dry Studio. For those of you that are new, I am a hair and makeup artist in Vancouver, BC. And I usually work on clients and in particular, I focus on Indian bridal. And I also have my YouTube channel here where I'm able to show you guys so many different looks and I can give you guys tips and tricks. I decided I want to also make my channel a space where we can all interact. So I'm deciding to create a new series on my channel called The Speech Bubble. And basically this is just going to be me going in with some topics and you guys are free to engage and leave your input in the comment section down below you guys can add to the topic and I would love to just see your thoughts about everything into 2017 I found growth within myself I found ways to be happier I want to share those ways with you guys if I'm able to help someone that's such a bonus no way shape or form am I saying I'm an expert of any sort but I just wanted to put this out there this is just something that I found for myself and if you want to see the different ways of how to instantly be happier Please keep on watching. Feel like we all go through things in our personal and professional lives anything with work maybe with friends family boyfriends girlfriends we're all in the same boat half the time keep in mind this list is in no particular order it's all over the place but i'm just going to start listing off things so one of the things that i like to do that really makes me happy dress up and take care of yourself when you look good you feel good i've noticed that for myself especially since i've been focusing more on my youtube channel and my instagram page that i've been doing so many different looks where i have to change up my eyeliner or change up my lip color it just feels so nice because you instantly feel so much more confident doing some eyeliner doing a little bit of mascara do something more than how you would usually and you're just gonna feel so amazing about yourself another way to be happy instantly is to surround yourself with positivity so may this be quotes positive energy positive friends and even memes it just starts the day off right and also just surround yourself with positive people in your life you want to have people that bring you up you don't want to be around people that have a negative energy I never used to be a strong believer of energies per se but I've learned you can just sense when someone has a negative energy to them and you don't want that in your life so just walk away from it this person might be in front of you and you just don't know what to do because their energy is so negative just take yourself out of the situation that is the best thing to do don't react just get out of there and tell yourself hey you don't need that energy around you way better off without it number three get out of your comfort zone have you ever been invited to an event or a party and you thought okay why am i gonna go there i don't know anyone there i feel really awkward those events are the events that help you grow when you get out of your comfort zone that equals growth. I never used to go to certain events or to certain parties because I just used to opt out for staying at home. Part of it is because I am an introvert, which is fine. I used to just always be closed off, sitting in the corner, not really wanting to talk to anyone, but now I'm okay with getting up and talking to different people. So I would definitely suggest doing something that's outside your comfort zone. Number four know your worth a lot of people don't know their worth unfortunately they need a secondary person to validate their worth and just to validate that they are important and that they are worth it for instance if you're working by yourself you're an entrepreneur you don't have someone to say hey good job today or pat you on the back and say you did an amazing job so you kind of feel like am i even doing anything right you are doing an amazing job you are going to be successful because of the effort that you are putting into everything some of the times you might be in a situation where you may be in a relationship and your partner doesn't make you feel like you are worth it or that you are worth anything. Unfortunately, this does happen a lot. I was in kind of a similar situation and it took a third party, so not someone that was in my immediate circle, but for someone else to come in really makes you understand, hey, this is what I deserve. Sometimes you need a third party to come in and say that. At the end of the day, you had no one in your life. You should know that you always have yourself. That was a concept that I've always understood but never really applied. Like I used to think that I am applying it, but I realized because of the situation I wasn't. I have grown so much and I value myself so much more. This is really important. You want to live in the now. I actually learned this from the book, The Power of Now. Anything to do with the past leads to depression. When we think about the past, we think of, I should have done this, what if this? that can be very depressing. Anything in the future, that's all anxiety. I have to do this still, I have to do that still. It creates anxiety and stress. What are you doing right now? 
focus on that. I'm not saying don't plan. You definitely want to plan. You want to plan out your weeks, your schedules. It actually helps me out a lot because I do have a busy schedule and I want to make sure that I get a certain amount of stuff incorporated throughout my week. But I try not to overthink things that may be happening six months from now or a year from now. I used to think, oh, I should have done this differently or I should have done that. And I would get really depressed and really down. I used to just not want to do anything. And that was horrible because our time right now is so precious. I would suggest just take in what you're doing right now. You're sitting in front of a screen. You are listening to this information, which I greatly appreciate. After you're done watching this video, you're probably going to do something else. Live fully in that moment and just enjoy yourself. That also leads me to the next point. So number six is make sure that you make some lists and set some goals. Little goals are also huge achievements. You don't need to have your lifelong goal achieved in order to feel happy. When you physically see on a piece of paper or on like a whiteboard that you have crossed something out, it just makes it so much more satisfying. And it also gives you the idea that you have completed something. You will feel a lot more motivated. So that's the goal. You wanna just make sure that you write things down and try to work towards achieving those goals okay so number seven is really important and one of I would say one of the major things I've learned for myself in 2017 that is to be in tune with your feelings prior to this year I never really used to show my emotion that much I just never used to be like into hugging people I just do the there there hug so what I used to do is associate showing emotion with a form of being weak but I've noticed that's not the case and it's actually a really big strength to be able to show your emotion and to grow and learn from it. One thing that which was really, really important for me was to understand why I'm feeling a certain way. So for instance, if I'm feeling upset on a certain day, I used to be like, I feel upset, but then I would mask it by trying to keep myself busy or do something else and not really acknowledge that emotion and understand why. So now I really like to ask myself why multiple times. I feel upset. Why do you feel upset? But it's because of this, but then there's an, actually another root cause behind it. And once you kind of get into the depth of why you felt that way, it just helps you really come to the understanding of what caused you to feel that way. And it also prevents you from feeling that way again in the future. As long as you're not ruminating about why you felt a certain way, you can grow from it. It's still very healthy to do this. I have decreased being angry so much because I feel like there's other emotions that can be used to express yourself. Trying to understand that person's point of view a little bit more, really thinking about my words before I say them. You want to be able to express yourself and get your point across without having to yell. I rather just calm myself and then come back to the situation or I just, like I mentioned earlier, leave from that situation and then come back and deal with the problem. This is the first time I feel very happy with being in tune with myself. Number eight, try to turn off social media. We live in a social era, which I completely understand, but sometimes it's okay to disconnect. I find this very difficult for myself at times. This year, I've actually been picking up a lot of different books, still being able to exercise my mind. Sometimes the online world isn't as friendly as it could be, and there is a lot of negativity on there. You just need to pick up a book and get lost in that book. It all comes back to being in tune with yourself. Number nine, do an activity that makes you feel good. So this could be drawing, painting, doing your makeup, exercise. One thing that I really love is when I see an instant result. I love when I'm filming, editing, and I get to post something. It's such a calming feeling for me. Or when you exercise, you just feel so good about yourself even though you may be sore but you still have that accomplishment that hey i went to the gym and i did something today i would suggest do something that makes you feel good about yourself even if it's like hanging out with your friends just going to the mall do things that genuinely bring positivity to your life so lastly something that i've learned is knowing that you are capable of love this can be such a tricky topic as well. I've talked to so many different clients too that aren't in relationships. The way of getting to know people and the way of putting yourself out there has changed so much. A lot of times people tell me, hey, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe I'm just not lovable. 
and that's not the case. Whoever you are meant to be with, you are going to be with. They are going to find you, you are going to find them. I have heard amazing stories because I work with brides and just hearing how they met their significant other is just so amazing. At the end of the day, like I mentioned earlier, you don't need another person to make you happy. I can be honest with you guys, it is something that kind of thinks about and you just have to tell yourself you are good on your own. But if someone comes into your life, they are an add-on to your life and you need to love yourself first fully. You are just going to be so much more happier because because you are confident and you are good with yourself. My friends always used to say that, don't get into a relationship unless you fully love yourself. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I get that, I get that. But when you actually understand that, you need to be fully happy with yourself, then get into a relationship. You are lovable and you definitely deserve love. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I wanted to create this series and put out kind of like these real talk type of videos. Let me know how you guys liked this first episode of this series. So thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope this video was helpful. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll catch you in my next one. Thanks guys for watching.